Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Today, we are going to be the purple player named Wayne. We're going to be logging in to play some classic fixed risk, old school variety, classic fixed risk with blizzards, and one fisherman. Did not click the ready button. Something was on the end of his hook, and he got distracted. Didn't ready up on his phone. We're the purple player in the sixth position. We have an Egypt blizzard, which makes Africa a nice little two-point juice pot. I like that. That's pretty good. Yellow and blue have decent spawns for South America. Yellow especially. But it looks like white's moving out of blue's way, so blue can actually leave. That sucks for me. Because it looks like I'm probably going to want to go for North America based on where my troops are in the early game. Now, if blue pulls into North America... No, he's going to... Okay, I'm going to offer an alliance to him. If he gets his six and his three out of my way, I will bring the four into North America, right? That is the play I want. And if he leaves this four here, that's good, because I also want to block his four in here. Okay, white is going for what? I'm not quite sure. So, we're playing World Domination Classic Fixed. Alliances and Blizzards are on. No Fog, no Portals. Okay, yellow adds here, but doesn't hit yet. He's going to wait. I'm going to block the blue four so it doesn't come into North America. That is my plan. Oh, dude, the black bot with a god spawn for Australia. So this guy's name's Fisherman83, right? Obviously, he had something on the line. Didn't hit the ready button. He had to get that mackerel into the boat or whatever was going on. But uh, so his bot took over, got a god spawn for Australia. And look at this. It's coming out. It's going to come out and start expanding into Asia. Dude, if you're green, you don't buff this. You run. You run. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Okay. He does the thing. I mean, I could technically go for Africa. I don't think Africa is my play. I think North America is my play. It's just yellow's too strong. I don't have enough troops down here. I think I'm better off just forcing yellow to hit the blue four and then also going for a North America play. And do this. And then I will do this. And then uh send him a heart. Yeah, we're gonna do this. I'm trying to move for North America. We're starting out with what kind of card are we starting out with when we play Classic Fixed? Dudes, they're back! I had a nice little while there where the dude cards weren't attacking me. And man, are they back. So I also have a 6 in Euro, which I actually did not spot until this very moment. So that's interesting. This is annoying, because he's going to take a card here and then back off to Iceland, right? But that just means... It's even longer until I can get my four out of Great Britain. Yellow wants to ally me. I will... Because yellow wants to hit the blue four and then be my friend. I will accept. He's not actually hitting it. He's going to start going for Africa. Oh, man. Yellow has such a good spot. So this is a three-point guard. Middle East, North Africa, and uh, Venezuela. Why do I... I derp on it, but, like, that's a three-point guard on a plus five. This is the same as North America right now because of Egypt. And black's going to bring one of its back stacks into the nine. The three or the four. One of them, it's the nine. No, it does another weird fortify. That's interesting. That's a very odd fortify for a bot to make. What are you doing, green? You're going to run your troops out of here, but not too far. Interesting. Okay. So I'm going to start making my way through... North America. Like this. Oh, no, that's a blue... That's a bot, too. I shouldn't have done that. So I, I fortified back. Because I don't want to have a stack near the bot, too. Because it might put five troops over here. I, I should have knocked the bot out. That's really good for me. Yeah, roll something else, doggy. White is very weak now. Cavalry with a plus two on Central America. I like trapping the blue four here. I'm kind of a dick. Please go to the right to Scandi and I can get my four out of your way. Yes. Give him a thumbs up. And then fortify down to your four. Or up. That's fine too. 
Okie dokie. Oh man, and yellow because so this is great. Yellow got a god spawn for South America, but because blue didn't move out immediately and I blocked the blue four in here, yellow is not getting this fast. And now the black bot has Australia and is just holding Australia. And it oh okay. And now it's trying to play and make plays in here for Africa. And more weird fortifications. It really likes buffing up Indonesia. Interesting. I'm going to get out of Blue's way. Slowly, though. I don't want to... I have to hit the black two out, right? He's also buffing this up to get ready to take out Australia when uh, when black goes away. I really want to hit that black two. I kind of should come out, though. I will leave Blue's bonus. And then completely leave it. And I'm not going to come and touch the black two. Give Blue a thumbs up. I should have maybe brought this two over, because this two doesn't matter. White has a big trade on three. Leave it to the guy getting smoked to have a big trade on three to... That might have been the Africa take right there. I don't know. Eh, he's got to hit ten troops from a 22 stack. Maybe not. It is a nice two-point guard. If you were friendly with yellow, you could maybe get away with it. Now, I don't have a trade, but I do have 29 troops. Going last in turn order was good, and I haven't lost any or many troops to my opponents or the bot yet, right? I did lose a one here, one of my three, and I will lose this too. But I've done pretty good. I think he's going to hit the four now. Yep. Give him a thumbs up. Yep. Brings the 10 out. No, he brings it in. So he's playing more safe, right? Just in case I break him, but I'm giving him a thumbs up. I do not want to uh, have a war with you. So I'm a little concerned if I take North America now. I could. I could definitely take North America now. Make an 8, 7 on the 2, up, take the 5 on 1. I could definitely take it now. I will be on 4 cards. Yellow could theoretically get his 5 for his turn, and then also trade on top of it. He couldn't kill me, but he could definitely ram dingle me. Green's now trading on 3. Must be nice getting a 12 troops with your first three cards. It must be absolutely incredible to feel that way. Now, you could kill blue. You need an 18 on 16 to work, but uh, you could alternatively kill. He could kill yellow. He just has to go through a black. He could kill yellow. He could have. Maybe. Okay, he's getting ready to do something else. I'm going to leave my six over here for now. I'm actually not going to take the bonus right away. I am going to hit this, though. Okay. Yep. And then I will uh, give you all a thumbs up and fortify back. I'm not taking the bonus. I... Mm. Why are you putting troops in the bonus? This is very upset setting right now. This is very upsetting. And I have no trade on four. I left the white one in there and he puts all of his troops there and gets perfect dice on me. Blue's going to go for Africa, but not take it yet. But he's trapping yellow. But yellow can take cards in, in other places still. But come on, yellow. Take a Mongolian card and leave a snack out here. Or take an Afghanistan stack. He's guarding from blue. God, white. What the hell, dude? That was super annoying. I could take the bonus and back completely off of white, but I don't think... Or yellow. I don't think I do. I don't take the bonus until I trade. I don't want to get smoked. Now, also, I don't open myself up to die to White's 22 either. Could green kill me? Uh, hits a 6, comes through this way. It's very awkward. He could set up to try to kill me next turn. Hits Japan. Hits, hits the white one. Okay. I definitely don't hit the Ukraine one. That Oh, my God. 
I hate this game. A lot. I do have a big trade on five. If I live, I have a big trade. And I didn't open white to come ram dingle me. Okay, thankfully he didn't open Kamchatka, because that would have been scary with the green stone. Like, I'm very, very at risk of dying. Only to somebody with a big stack. The only person that can kill me is green. But he has to do some weird shit. But if he does the weird shit, he ends up with North America. So, our opponents, by the way, we've got Rock Zeppelin from Undisclosed Location. Really wrecked my world in here. We've got General Thon from United States. We've got Dave Copeland from United States, the yellow player. We have uh, Fisherman83, the black AI, ex or medium AI. We have Otis Vora, the green player from United Kingdom. And I'm going to be Wayne right now from the United States. That's the alias that I'm working with. Okay, green can just straight shot me. He just has to go through a yellow five or one, one, two, two, one. Like he has to do five extra troops on top of my 20. He has to kill 33 total troops to kill me if he wants to right now. Looks like he's not. Oh, baby, I'm so lucky. Uh, I mean, I'm so unlucky, but then lucky after. So we'll take the Central America plus two. And then I will go this way. I don't trust white at all. Because I don't like them. I'm going to guard in Greenland instead of Alaska. Which also traps my stack. And hopefully yellow's cool with me. If yellow doesn't have a trade, 11 on 9 is not even a great roll. And he's more worried about blue right now. White doesn't do anything to me. Okay. Do I get to hold North America? Nobody hitting Kamchatka means green has a tough time getting into me. Or an awkward time. Blue is going to what? Oh, man. He wants Africa. He's smacking the bot. Oh, man. Wow. Is that just a solid big trade on three with a wild card? Nice. Must be nice. Did I get an artillery? I did. Okay. I can't complain. I got very unlucky early game into the back-to-back -back artillery to save my ass. Yellow does have the trade on three. It's triple cavalry. Now I'm hoping we're friends. I'm hoping he stacks out here and keeps the stack in uh, here for cards, right? I'd like to be his buddy. I have specifically, other than trapping the blue four in here to make his life slower, I have done nothing negative towards him. Now, it would have been a terrible idea for me to do so, but it's also true that I haven't done anything negative towards him. Black bot trades and blue loses its bonus. Quite a shame, bro, that you uh, you wasted all those troops to let the black bot trade and put a six stack in your bonus again. Dude, this Australia hold by the bot is hilarious. It's causing so much disruption on the board. It is hilarious. And green's not getting open in Kamchatka because nobody's rolling up here. He's gonna hit. This is so good. So good. And I'm not taking a card there. I am trading again. And I don't want to buff against yellow. So I will do this. And stack here. Oh, I didn't even have to. I could have used the six. And uh, we're going to go here. Okay. Give me a dude. That's fine. I am okay with my... I have 63 troops, doggy. I am fine right now. Incoming white ram dingle. Maybe I'm not fine. He opened green to me in the back. That's unfortunate. That is something that's now a thing. He, uh, he still has to do a 3 one, one He has to hit five troops before my five to get in, but he could still do it. Blue will take this again. Lost nine on that. Blue is just toast. It's very close to blue just getting smoked by yellow. Although he gets to hold, unless yellow breaks him. I think yellow's just going to take a card out here. But the thing is with yellow, he's leaving so... Okay, there, that's better. He's been leaving such a low amount of troops out here that somebody else could hit it and card block him in here. Like, if you're green, you, you might think about taking this 11 troops out. Especially if it was just a 6 still. Right? 
Just to, then yellow's like, what do I do here? Then I'm forced to put stacks here and hope he hits blue. Or I, I let him hit me or, or give him a chance to hit me. And I don't like either of those ideas. Green's got a trade. He could, now he's going to break me. He might break me. That's looking like a break. Doesn't break me. Okay. Uh, pretty big fan of not being broken. He's saying attack my territory if you need to. Okay. I will hit this. He wants me to hit blue. Okay. And then go back into my corner. I did exactly what he asked. I want a good relationship with yellow. So that's specifically why I'm doing it. He wants to kill blue next turn. And that was a tricky spot, right? He wanted my six out of the way so he could do it. That's why he wanted me to do this. So he could get to blue. And then he asked me to hit blue instead. And I did it instead. Now blue's thumbs downing me. I might get broken for that. That might be... Wait, how? He can't break me. He could hit my six though, which would suck. Yeah, now Blue just sits here with three cards, and Yellow's going to kill him and try to hold this position. Which would be great. 34 comes through, Ram Dingles sits in the 15, the 9 comes back to North Africa. It's not bad. Boom. Yeah, yeah Yellow and I both now get plus fives. Oh, we're doing stuff. This is good. Quite a fan of this. Yellow is now my friend. Now we're actually friends. I did a favor for him. Yep, and give him a thumbs up. He gets the trade. He's going to come back to Brazil. I, I would rather he sits in North Africa, not Brazil, right? Because I'm not hitting him. 69! No, 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 stay there! Uh, he should stay there, man, honestly. Now this gets broken. I If I'm him, I would have stayed. Because, like, somebody else is going to take that now. Now, well, maybe he fought, thought that'd be too greedy. And white or green might pay pay him uh, some punishment for that, right? Maybe that's it. He, he just wanted to kill blue. But the problem is if you kill blue and then don't hold that position. Because he could have two-pointed it with most of his troops, right? And left a six here. But if you don't hold that position, white might claim it or green might claim it. And then, sure, blue is blocking you from cards there. But now white might do that. And now what, are you going to kill white too? Is that the next play? Wait. Green has no access to me this way. I will trap my stack again. And then I will do this. And then I will back up. Oops, I will back up completely. There we go. I will just move all my troops in. I'm fine. And I have another big trade on three. We started out really bad with the cards. Double dudes, double cavalry, and then big trade, big trade, big trade. All we had to do was survive the rough patch, and now we're in greener pastures. I have 80 troops, North America, and a big trade. Look at my opponents. Feeling pretty good about it. I really am. Now my 48 is trapped, but I don't care about that. I don't need my troops to be active in a five-player game, right? Four-player game with a bot, right? So... I don't need my troops to be active in a four-player game. You should... If you're going to hit the... It's very odd. Give him a thumbs up. Black bot trades. It's probably going to hit Middle East and break, right? Like, the most likely scenario is black hits Middle East and breaks. I didn't see a 14 v 11, so that I wouldn't have said that was the most likely. I thought it was going to do the reach around. That was a green. Asked me for an alliance and I accepted it. I think he's going to kill. Well, no, he's not going to kill black. It doesn't have cards. He's not going to kill white. It doesn't have cards. Could kill yellow. Maybe he just wanted to ally me for now. I'm 100% cool with the alliance, though. I'm keeping all of my troops locked, by the way, and I'm 100% fine with it. And I'm just going to have a 61 stack trapped. Cool. Bring this back to my 
No, I, I'm, I'm gonna leave a ten screw. And a wild card, dude. The thing's a legend. Oh baby. White's still not going for Europe because I got a sixty-six guarding. Ever since he did his little mini ram dingle in here, puts three troops in and takes three territories with perfect dice, blitzing them. I mean, I'm not letting up on Greenland at all. I mean, he could break me back door if he wanted, but I definitely wouldn't recommend it. Been so good to you, Yellow. I'm very happy with our relationship so far. Like, if you actually want to hold the other bonus, you should just guard it. Like, I have... Like, I, I'm happy the bot hit you. Okay. Now you do get broken this way. The reach around sweeper, right? It's got to be. Well, maybe not, because the six wants to hug the stack. Yeah, this the it wants to hug the stack, right? So maybe maybe you get to hold. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot a lot. My stack is open now. Thank you, AI fisherman, black AI causing mayhem from Australia. Look at this. Two, three, 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 fourteen, fourteen. What is this bot, man? Hilarious. A big fan. Like a big fan of your work, AI. Very big fan. Yeah, and then I'm going to back right off to my 72 stack with an India dude card. And a wild. So far, so good. I am getting a massive advantage. If you guys, some people out there may be wondering, why am I not pressing my advantage? I have absolutely no need to press right now. Green's getting three troops a turn. White's getting three troops a turn. Yellow is sort of getting the same amount of troops as me, but not quite because he's like, he's trading a lot of troops. He's way behind me. And then the black AI is just sitting here in Australia doing a bunch of mayhem, causing a bunch of mayhem, mostly for my ally, Yellow. So, like, why do I need to do anything right now? I don't. Now, if these stacks connect, if Middle East does get hit, which it shouldn't, because I think it's going to surround white in Europe. Because if it did, then it might fortify up, because my 72 is the biggest stack it's touching. Oh, oof. There's definitely a chance it fortifies to this one at some point. This is such a weird thing that the bot's doing. This is hilarious. This AI is causing all types of mayhem. I'm a big, big fan of, uh, now I just take Japan, make sure stuff's good. And I'm leaving the 10 trapped. I want to not be so threatening to everybody. I have double dudes and a wild. Of course, we don't like that. That's not the way you want to trade, but we're okay. Does somebody at some point cave and kill the bot? So far, no. Green could alternatively kill, like, the green and white could pretty much kill each other. Green could kill white, anyways. I mean, it's not up to me to kill the bot. I don't care. <laughs> I'm happy with the bot, man. The bot's doing a bunch of stuff for me. It's hitting these guys and putting stacks in their way. Not mine. I don't care. I give no crap. This is beautiful. Look at this. If somebody wants to go in and try to clean the bot out, enjoy. Enjoy killing 53 troops to take Australia. I mean, you could. But, it, like, it doesn't even give you a better position. Because this is an AI that started as an AI, right? So it's not even like you get uh, better rank points, right? This is, as far as the ranking system's confirmed, concerned, confirmed. As far as the ranking system's concerned, this is a five-player game with one AI. So it's out of five players for the ranks. So, the bot doesn't exist, right? Blue has fifth, and there's four humans remaining, so black is irrelevant. It's very relevant in what it does to the board, especially if it's going to take Europe because white moves out. No. You're going to card block yellow and force him to hit the bot when it takes Europe. I'm okay with that, actually, because I don't think he's going to hit me. I think he will hit the bot. This five hits Ukraine. This five tries to take both of these, and then yellow has to break. Oh, that actually hits Ukraine. Interesting. This 5 hopefully doesn't roll. Good. I don't want the 14s fortifying up here. It's a bit annoying to me. 
I mean, I could come out with the 86 and sit here, but I, I like where it is for now. It would guarantee me one more territory, but that's not what I'm worried about. No, we're going to chill. 92 stack. Now I have double dudes, double cavalry, and a wild card. So I'm going to do a big trade, and then we're going to draw an artillery for a fifth big trade in a room. And that will be lovely. Yeah, Blackbot definitely trades here. It has to. Oh, man. It definitely takes Europe. Right? It's got Unless this four-on-one goes down and then fails the three-on-one or something. It's definitely going to have Europe, though. No, it could fail. Unless the 3 and one goes up, which would be stupid. Okay, it takes Europe. 13 is most likely to fortify to my 92. Well, it's actually touching a 75, though, so maybe it doesn't. Yeah, it, it just it loves this weird, this weird stuff. So yellow breaks, obviously. Green gets five cards, trades. It's an interesting game. We're, we're only 25 minutes in. Like, it's it feels like we're in a long, grindy game. It's only 25 minutes, and I'm very strong. I could at any point kill somebody easy and survive. Could, with good enough dice, I could double kill them. Any two. Right, I have 140. Like, this is 110 stack. I could kill somebody, trade, and kill somebody. Probably. I don't want to. Do I come out with my stack? I think I will now. Bring my 25 out. Another dude? No, it's time for artillery. I told you what we're supposed to be getting. My one question is, at some point, with yellow's weird splits, does white or green go into him? Brings the 21 up. No, it comes down. It, it is definitely something to be wondering, right? Because, like, if you got an 87 or a 70 stack, you're not going to do much to a 90 or a 100, right? Like, I'm going to make this bigger. Oh, that's a fortify. That might suck for me. No, it's fine. Either of them could also decide to go through my 25, right? But Green knows that's a death wish, and I think he's trying to play well. He also offered me an alliance earlier, and I think that meant he wanted to not be... I, I, I'd be surprised if... Because he offered me the alliance, right? Not when we could do anything. We didn't do anything for each other. He just offered it to me, I think, out of safety. So if he, if he chose now to break me, it would be a very poor decision. If he chose to break me forever ago, that might have been an okay decision. But uh, he didn't. He he's he'd be choosing to do it now, if anything. Okay, let's. Uh, that black thirteen is going to start moving over. And there's my artillery, so we do get the trade that we want. Beautiful. White's going for three on one rolls, which is odd. Like they don't always work, man. They're only eighty nine percent. Got a trade. Yellow has crested the 100 troop mark. 105. I'm on 146 with three cards up on him. He gets eight. Hits the black three. Cool. Bad dice. Slider in. Looks like he's slider and he's thinking, he's taking his time on that roll. So. And I haven't added to Central America. Other than when my card trade gave me a plus two on there, right? I've just been left left it. Actually, both... I put a seven here at the very start of the game, like the second turn. I don't think I've touched this stack since. I've left a seven here the entire game. Right? And then I had two trades with a Central America plus two on it. And that's what brought the seven to the 11. Which is good. And yellow has never added against it. And, I'm not, and it, because he's never added, I've never had to add. And we both feel good about that. <clears throat> At least I do. I have a 108 stack. In my head, I just heard 180. If you've never watched competitive darts online, then you don't know what I'm talking about. 
Dude, I watch everything. I, I any competition, I I've been glued to it my whole life. Darts. I don't play darts, but I'll watch people compete. I don't know. Just love me some competition. It's funny though, guys. Like obviously, when you're playing darts, the best throw you can get is three triple twenties, right? They're worth sixty points each. A bullseye is only worth fifty. So and triple twenties are easier to hit than a bullseye, and they pay more. So. Everybody aims for a triple 20 with three darts. And if you hit 60, 60, 60, it's 180. And then the announcer with the 180, with the most British accent of all time. I don't even know if it darts is big in Britain or just, that's how I, I, I hear it in my head. There's probably a very famous guy that uses that line and that's where we're going from. This should be a win, but how do I close this as a win, right? Like you guys are like, you've already won the game, just win. There's no real like, like, okay, I could have killed green for five, and I would have been on 80 or 90 troops, and then I hope that me and yellow could 2v1 white, or I hope that white would ally me and hit yellow. Maybe I could have done that. I just... He wants me to attack white. I don't want to hit the one and the three of white, because then white's incentivized to come hit me. He'd have to go through a two, one, and a five to suicide my stack. Or a 7, 13, 1, 1 to hit my 35. I don't think I want to do that. I'm going to add one troop here. Keep stacking here. Like I, I've, So I've already done one thing that yellow asked. So he's asking me to do something again. But here's the thing. If I hit this white 3, there's nothing yellow can do for me. There's nothing he can do for me. What's he... Uh, we, Back to back big trades again. Like, what's he gonna do? Double slam the 80 with these two stacks? I don't think so. Is white gonna hit yellow though? Or is he gonna kill, like, does black die at some point? No. Black bot will eventually knock this out, right? I think. Black's so strong. This is so crazy with the Australia bot. He has to hit a black eight now. Only loses two. Pretty good. Like, that's the thing. Yellow and I are neck and neck with how many troops we're getting. But I'm hitting ones and he's hitting stacks. He left a 10 there. Okay. And Black Trades is going to hit the 10. Oh, that is so funny. This guy's got to be frustrated at this point. You, you got to feel for him a little bit, man. And now he's got to hit a 7 again to get a card. He's probably feeling a little bit frustrated. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty funny. I'm getting basically double the troops of people, right? So, like, the Kamchatka plus two. Got a 124. I'm feeling pretty good about my troop totals right now. Bring that back. That's just... I've had a big trade every single trade this game. It's been absolutely lovely. Yeah, white rolls out here and leaves this stack, so yellow has to hit bot again. This is yellow's fault, too. If he left a giant stack in Middle East, he's going to card skip instead. He's tired of it. We sat in Middle East earlier, it would have been better. Also could have knocked the bot out of your... I don't know. This Wait, the bot actually started fortifying everything out of Australia, finally. This is so funny. And here's the thing, like, somebody could completely ramdingle me out of the blue, right? They could do it. But uh, here we go. I'm going to now hit... Yeah, he'd have to go through a 12 and a 13 to get me if I hit white's 2. He wants me to hit white. Okay. And then back. And he sends me a heart. He wanted me to hit white, so I did it. And I'll send him a heart back. But white, what does white do? Does it, do I get suicided for that? No, he hits the four and goes back. He gives yellow a card there, okay. Cool. So I can trade with green over here. Looks like black AI is gonna be swinging in Scandi, surrounding the 101. That's not Scandi, sorry, Southern Europe. Scandi's up here. <clears throat> odd, odd game. 
Like, I have a massive advantage, and it would be a shame not to win it. So how do we win from here? It's still only 30, 30, uh, 3 minutes or so into the game, right? Like, we're not that long in. Or 35 minutes, whatever it is. I don't know how long I started the recording before the game started, so. But, like, barely over a half hour, right? It's not that long of a game. Classic fix games can go much longer. This has progressed pretty quickly to it, like, because we've been at this state for a little bit. Yeah. I think my 124 is good. Anybody that goes up to hit it would get a 0% blitz roll. We're looking pretty good on cards again. Just need a cavalry. I'm like, is he starting to move up to stack in Iceland to get ready to slam me for hitting his two? I don't know. Why are you putting troops inside? Of there you go. Now stay there. No, you don't back off. You don't back off. Okay. It's really not on me to, to advance the game right now. I'm getting the cheapest cards and the most troops a turn. So, what do these guys want to do, though? They're going to sit until I'm strong enough to, like, I can, I could kill white on four cards here and not even be, I'd still have, like, 120. I'd be even with these guys if I killed white right here. Like, that's something. I just kill white, and then I'm even on troops with these guys? I just, I don't want to, right? Because then I'm sitting with 250 stacks, and green might go into one of them. 418 into me. Or maybe he goes into yellow? I don't think he would. Yellow would work with me, I know that. Let's see if white trades. Maybe I should have killed white here. I would be giving my entire advantage away to tie with the, to be tied with these two, though. No trade on four. He does trade, and it is the big trade. Okay. He's got to hit a four. So the, he's attacking in ways that are, like, forcing yellow to take cards awkwardly. This Euro Black 13 is hilarious. Green and I get to trade infinitely here. It's just so good. I like that 7. Makes it harder for White to come into me if he wants to slam me. He can now take this 3. It's a card for him that doesn't open anything up to yellow. Green's going to just trade with me quickly. Yep, and then back here. I have a dude trade. Oh, it was about time. We were dude. We were due. There's like... It's like the bot's putting so many troops in the middle of the board that I don't have to deal with. Like, look at this. Is he? He's going to skip. Okay. 60 troops up on yellow, plus four cards. I mean, the cards don't matter because they're dudes, but... I have to pull the win out here somehow. Like, just... Yes, yellow's my friend. If I kill white, yellow probably wants to work with me on green. But I don't know if green and yellow are allied. And if I do that and green hits a 50 stack of mine, yellow's got a bunch of troops trapped. Like, all of a sudden, the game looks really crappy. Right? Like, I give my... That happens a lot. You give your advantage away, and immediately, everybody turns on you. It's like, he was the winner, but now's our chance to get him. And everybody does it. So as much as I very much wanted to kill White there to progress the game, I objectively would be equal in troops and size with them and still have my position. He lost 15 on that 5. And then he moved... Oh, wow! No slider losing 15 on the 5. <laughs> Wow. I think he's getting fed up. If he if if he's rolling twice, too, he actually hit two. Because he, he's running from these stacks, I guess. This also still blocks yellow. Depending on how the rolls. This, what's rolling in here? Whatever it leaves here will roll. Yeah, okay. So it still stacks enough that yellow doesn't want to hit it. Man, if, if, if white could hit yellow, what could I do? Like, if white hit a 49 stack. Is that enough to win the game? 
I would just go in, <laughs> go in and kill green at that point. Like if white hit yellow hard, I'd go kill green and then sit, let yellow and white retaliate on each other a little bit, and then take the win. Offer white an alliance. When he accepts, I will fortify. Before he can request, I do anything. He's not accepting. Okay. Double dude, double artillery again? Alright, fine. Hits the seven or hits one of these ones? Oh. And backs up. So yellow gets an easy card. Dude, he lost four on a one. Like, him not slidering has already just lost him, like, I don't know, 13, 14 extra troops? Guaranteed? Like, that's crazy. It, it just shows how, how broken the slider is. And it, for the guys that do sit there sometimes and wonder, like, why do I adjust the slider every time I attack? Unless I attack with really low numbers, then I try not to because it's it's not as needed. But if you're wondering why I'm always adjusting it, it's it makes that much. This guy lost 15 troops hitting a 5. I think the most you can possibly lose hitting a 5 is 7 if you do a slider. So he lost 8 extra troops worse than the worst possible roll. By not slidering. Eight troops. When you're last with this many troops, he's even lower than the bot. That's so bad. Unbelievably bad. I wish he'd ally me, though. Like, even if he allies me and I'm like, hey, hit yellow, and he hits yellow, like, I will kill green off of it. I won't help him with yellow. But, like, it does progress the game. Like, that's not even a perfect slider, but it's good enough. Yeah, and I'm also trading in a spot that green doesn't get open to me. Uh-oh. Okay. He just smoked. He's getting fed up with this bot. He smoked a seven. I'm getting a little concerned with this possibility of him running over here now. So maybe I fortify in a different way. And bring 100 troops to this side. Yellow trades. He skips. Okay. Still 60 troops up on him and a bunch of cards. Okay, artillery trade. Cool. Green's on five cards. Gets to trade. I mean... Attack white? No. Thumbs up? No. Okay. Well, he doesn't. I mean, he, he moved too fast. He was already deciding what he wanted to do. He was already made his move before. Um, where there's a chance. Wait, now this bot is holding Europe. This is funny. So, if white wants to slam this stack, he's got to go through 28 troops. I'm going to make this, uh, I need it big enough that I can kill green if I want to. Something like this. Okay. There's the cavalry. Now give me artillery. I, well, this, this makes them a little bit more scared. Like, like, would he kill, like, if he kills white, I would go into yellow, right, at this point? Or, like, this makes them more scared. Which is ideally the, the whole goal. Because I want my troops active, right? They're, they're not active pointing at all of this bot. I'd rather them over here, they're pointing at both of these guys. I don't need them for yellow. For now. Huh. Attack white. Attack yellow. There we go. Uh, oh. Now he hits me in a way that, like, I have to open his stack if I want to uh, get a card. So I'll just back up. I don't need a card. 
I don't want to open his stack. If, if White opens his stack, then so be it. But I'm not. Does he sit here? Like, there, there's a... There's a real chance that White does a Ram Dingle on Yellow, right? And then if he does, Yellow retaliates. And then Green gets to go before me. So I don't want Green having a good roll on my main stack. If he, if he goes through a shitload of bot troops to hit my 77, perfectly fine with that. I don't care. But I don't want him having like a 160 versus 160 roll where he loses 110 and gets plus 50 on me. That would be horrendous for me. Because I, I would kill him after that. But I'd have to go through a bunch of bot. I'd kill him. And then whatever's left of yellow would be hard to beat. Alright, so we're just doing this. And white won't ally me. Which is a bit annoying. I wonder if not trading cards with green is a better idea. Oh, no, he's going to get carded that way anyways. Wait, is White going to take Australia? Dude. White's going to take Australia. It's only a 16 you got to go through now. That would be funny. That would be funny. Hear me out. I love that. After all this time? Man. Yeah, I could kill him and still be at like 130, 140. Still be well behind yellow, but he's got a lot of troops doing nothing. It, like, if I was... This would be the time. Like, if green was okay with second, we could do something. If white was okay with second, it would be harder to do something, because white's just so weak. If he does anything, yellow will kill him immediately. Or green would. But if green was okay with second, this would be the moment for him to just kill white and ram yellow. And then I kill yellow before him. But he's clearly not okay with second. Or he doesn't understand the offer on the table, which is quite possible. Make that an 80. Make that a 5, so it's like a weird, a weird number, not a perfect 4 on 1. Although, like, they probably have already decided that I, I know what I'm doing. Any little doubt I can put in their mind would be good. Here comes Australia! He's trading. He's definitely going for it. No! Oh! Breaks the bonuses. Do I get suicided? I get suicided. Damn it. Okay. It's gonna break yellow too. Green's being all shocked. At least it's... Yeah, at least it didn't blitz into my 190. A full suicide hits yellow too, but mostly me. Yeah. Like, that mostly hit me, right? I'm still okay. But that was painful. He also didn't open my 190. I don't have a trade to go back with. <laughs> he wants me to hit green. I want him to hit green. I would prefer white gets the kill, I guess. Or, sorry, yellow. Yellow, green, and me. Now we're three-person equal endgame. It literally took... White full inting into me to give us an equal endgame. So you can make the argument I should have killed him earlier, but uh, this is also okay. He wants me to hit green, but like I'm... I'm going to ask green. Attack yellow? Would he? I don't think he will. I think he's literally going to take a card and pass. I, I want. I should win this game. Shouldn't be taking a second to place here. Okay, you took your bonus. Stop going in. Uh, I don't want to hit a bunch of bot to take this. Yeah, fortify all the way back. That's better. I mean, if he takes a book, a chunk out of yellow, he could kill yellow and take second with with a good slider blitz attacking uh, attacker's advantage roll, right? Or he could hit the 80 and let me through. Attack yellow. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Okay. He's really playing with fire because I could kill him and accept second. I'm not going to. Okay. 
Okay, I'm leaving enough troops here to kill Green, though. Give him a thumbs up. He breaks the bot. That's nice. I want to take my North America back and stack in Greenland. But I also very much want to stack point of that green. A big enough stack to actually end his career. I really don't like his game. But like, if, if only first matters to you, he might be playing appropriately. Maybe he had opportunities early to do something differently, but I like I didn't pay enough attention to his game in the early game to know if he could have played it differently. But he has literally sat in China for the entirety of this game. What can I force? This is tough. This is a slower game. Now he's taking cards down here. Okay. Split 100 up. He's going to take Australia. Okay. Fine. Black may have a trade. And he trapped his stack, but obviously if I was going to go run into yellow, uh, it wouldn't do anything for me. So, Okay. Friends with yellow. Okay, and now I'm going to bring over here 25. Oh, he's going to break Ukraine. Yeah, no trade on four. Man, fuck that white guy, dude. Really, really, but that like, it's annoying, very annoying. Green is not going to ever do anything. So, so here's the thing. How do you work together in a three-player endgame? How do, how do we make this work? I need to either work with green to kill yellow, or I need to feed green to yellow. Now, yellow doesn't have troops available. He's got an 80 stack. He's not very effective in, in what he's doing. I think I'm just going to break... Break this and leave no troops in there. So the bot only puts a couple in to take it back. And we have a dude trade. Okay. Dude trade with what? Alberta plus two. He's going to card skip. Okay. Man, why am I stuck in this game? Why is it like this? I'm leaving enough that I can't get broken by the bot, and also it's lower than the other stacks the bot would touch. So if the bot fortifies, it'll fortify to those stacks instead. Green can get out. Part of me just really wants to kill green. Although as it stands right now, I'm going to grow the fastest of the three of us again. Uh, like so we're in the same spot as it like if i killed white like five or six minutes earlier than when he suicided me like we're in the same spot as that would have been anyways do i let the bot hold maybe i just i don't think so i think it causes problems for me if i let it hold Like, now I'm equal with yellow. Okay, that's nice. He's hitting some butt. Now he's sitting there. That I like a lot better. He should have sat here forever ago. Yeah, see, the bot's barely putting any troops because I'm leaving a one, right? It wants enough to attack that one and take the bonus. But it's if I left a stack there, it would put more here. But when it trades and deploys, it puts most of them touching the stacks. So I can keep hitting a three repeatedly. Or I can ignore it. Green's got no access to me right now. Triple artillery. Hit the three again. 
Also, as long as I'm hitting the bot, they see me maybe as a helper. Maybe yellow's cool. He's like, okay, purple's fighting the bot. I'll, I'll do something else, maybe. I mean, if he hit the green 43, that'd be a good start to a friendship. Obviously, that's extremely risky because green could suicide him. Like, at, at this point, nothing really matters other than the psychological game. Yellow and I should have a good alliance, but... If either of us hits this 43, green could suicide us and feed the game. So, like, it's incredibly dangerous to pick a fight with green right now, the way he's playing. It's very tough. So you're going to leave his stack in India now? No, it goes back. Wait, the bot didn't even retake its bonus, dude. What? Cool. I'm okay with that. He's not going to hit anything. He hits the four, the one. Doesn't open green stack. I don't know. Hits the four. Loses eight. No slider. Hits, the, hits a bunch of stuff. Oh, he's going to kill the bot? He's killing the bot? Give him a thumbs up. Oh my god, that's super tempting to want to kill Green. Like, that was such a damaging play for him. If he leaves his stack trapped, maybe I kill Green. Oh man, no, I, I can't. I won't. I, there's no way I can beat a 140 after I go through a 190, right? Even with a double trade, there's just no way. Like, I want to go one and two with yellow. I, I'm trying to figure out not have not just how to win, but how to win with yellow. Trade as well. Bring my stack up. Give you a little thumbs up. Man. He went into, like, yellow got fed up enough to kill the black bot, right? Now, like, we're doing math, right? 150, like, t t combined, they have 350 troops to my 250. I can't kill one and even have an advantage over the second. He sends me a heart. I really, really want to go first and second with yellow. Just because of that heart makes me feel warm inside. Nice and fuzzy. Like, if yellow could 0% slider blitz the 56, I would kill green into yellow and I'd feel good about it. But Jesus. Do this. What do we got for cards? Another big trade. Man. Green will never do anything. He opens his stack and backs off. He's opening green to do whatever he wants. That was a very non-friendly move towards me. Green's going to do nothing? Yeah, not surprised. That was very non-friendly to me. And I'm wondering <clears throat> if I should brace for impact from yellow or if I should open his stack. <laughs> He's chilling. Okay. He's chilling. He just closes his stack off again. Puts it back. He gave green an opening to do something. Green didn't take it. Goes back here? Yeah, green's getting ready. Okay. 
Okay, if we're... I'm not letting people get attacker's advantage on me with 100% blitz rolls. I'm gonna have a... If green's gonna suicide me, I will be able to kill him and take second. If he, if he kills yellow... He could kill yellow right here. He could flat out kill yellow and take second. I don't even have to signal him. He, he can make that decision on his own. He's doing something. And it might be hitting me. Yep, it's me. Unfortunate. Or he wants Europe? No, it's me. I'm gonna eat a second suicide. No. <laughs> okay. If he suicides me, it's fine, because I will just kill him immediately after. Yeah. My turn to ask him? Can we attack green? And a heart? I mean, I've done everything he's asked, right? No, he won't. Okay. It's not correct for him to hit green here anyways. I could try. <clears throat> the correct move is for him to let green suicide me, and he wins. Green has picked a fight with me. Because he wants to do something. Green should attack yellow. <laughs> this is the perfect moment to take second place. If, if he suicides me, he gets third. If he kills yellow, he gets first. If he chills, he still has a chance at first. Wow. Okay, I'm going to trade. Okay. I have lines on everything. 300 troops. He let me hold Asia, Australia. Like, put 40 troops into him. I mean, I'm thumbs up. Come on. <clears throat> he wants me to kill yellow and take second. I'm not taking second. I'll give you second before I take second. He's going to take North America? I don't think he breaks yellow. Does he? No, he doesn't help at all. Okay. He really wants to die. He's going to break me too? Okay. Very annoying. Keep this going. Yellow's not going to do anything while this is happening. I'm about to give you third place, Green. I, I am in the driver's seat to the point where I can be like, you get third or you get second? What do you want? You want third or second? He's going to take Australia back or is he going to break me? He's going to sit He's going to sit and take Japan. Hide in Japan. I'm getting a lot of troops a turn. There's no world I can get the double kill, though. But, like, me being forceful here is getting me a lot of troops a turn. I held Asia for a turn, dude. Yellow's not breaking me. Give me a thumbs up. He sees me working on green and green working. Me and green fighting, yellow's not going to poke any bears. He's taking the kill. He, re he recognized that I'm not giving him an opening for first. And he's going to get third fucking with me. Good game. Yes. Okay. He realized he was going to get third if he didn't stop fighting me. So he took his second, finally. Well played. Well played. I, I, I think Green's probably a higher ranked player.
He sat in China forever looking for an opportunity. He puts troops down, he attacks fast, he breaks everything. Obviously, I'm just gonna ramdangle him. Full on sausage entering you very shortly, sir. The fully. He's got a 69 left over. Yeah, good game. No trade. Don't care. I'll just fail slider the first roll and keep going. I don't care. Good game. Good effort to try to get first. But he realized he was very, very close to third. So if you're very, very close to third, sometimes you just have to take the second. Because I would. He, he was in a position he needed yellow to suicide me. Was the only way he was getting first. Yellow is my friend. So the only way, his only path to victory was something I had already accounted for. Yeah, white is a master. Blue and yellow intermediates and green was a master. So I got suicided by this idiot master. Lose your link. <laughs> Lose your rank points. Lose your rank points, bitch boy. And uh, anyways, that was a good game. I had fun. I had a good relationship with Dave Copeland. I was hoping... There was a world we could go one and two, but it just didn't line up properly. Green made the right plays in the end. Green did everything possible to fight for first and then recognized he was on the border of getting third. So he took his second. Much respect to them. Great game. And uh, if you're joining from YouTube, thank you guys for hanging in for a long classic fix today. This was a good one. This was a goodie. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're not already. More risk right above my head. More risk every single day on this channel and minimum five days a week on my second channel, Kilted Gaming. And if you don't know about that channel, it's in the description below. I've been posting some epic ass games on there. The last couple weeks were games from my Twitch stream, Subathon. And those were bangers. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video.